Hi guys, today we are doing a grocery haul for a gut health, so I'm gonna take you through it and show you how much and what we get for a family of two. Oh gosh, it's so messy, how am I gonna show them? If you watched my last week's video, you probably know what types of food we usually get and what types of food we usually eat for a gut health. Anyway, I'm gonna show you everything. But first, before making my list, I usually check my pantry to see what I do have and what I need to get for the next week or two. So when I get the idea of what types of meals I want to cook uh, next week and what items I have or don't have in my pantry, I usually write down my list. Also, I do have some plants growing in my pots like kale, basil, oregano and some other herbs, so I don't buy them, except for kale, because I don't have enough of it. So we're heading to the north, to our favorite farmer's market there, and we're gonna get some fresh produce first, and then we're gonna go to the grocery store. This is a typical Canarian farmer's market where you can find all the fresh produce that grows here on the island of Tenerife. It's always a quest to find some fresh deal, but hopefully today we're gonna grab some fresh deal. These are local bananas, Canarian bananas, super famous in Europe. So we're gonna grab some of these for a smoothies. Okay guys, we got a fresh produce from this beautiful farmer's market and it's quite heavy to be honest. But now we're gonna head to the grocery store to pick up some dry goods. And we are back. We could not actually film at the grocery store. I don't know why, they just didn't let us. Anyway, I'll show you every single item we got there. But let me start with the fresh produce first. At the farmer's market this week we got some local Canarian bananas. I really enjoy eating fresh bananas these days, but I'll probably freeze some for later. We got some lemons for just about everything. For a little thing, you know. Next, the most exciting thing this week, fresh strawberries. This strawberry season has just started and I just could not be more excited because I actually used to have a food sensitivity but it's gone now and I could not be more happy to be honest making a gut health your priority is so rewarding you guys we got a bunch of cruciferous we like adding broccoli and cauliflower to uh, stir fries and buddha balls Plus, we're gonna be making sauerkraut for our microbiome, so we got a couple of heads of cabbage, the purple one and the white one. We got this beautiful purple broccoli and it's actually the first time we saw this type of broccoli at the market. So cool! We got some kale, stay tuned for the next week meal prep video. We're gonna be making a green Buddha bowl with this kale. Avocado is a staple in this household, as you can tell. We got some cherry tomatoes and cucumber for our salads and some bell peppers as well. By the way, the bell pepper is a great source of vitamin C, so we like adding bell peppers to our salads and buddha balls. These little eggplants are perfect for stir-fry dishes. We got a canarian papaya for our papaya balls for breakfast. I'm planning to make a veggie spread, so I got some zucchinis and summer squash for this. We also have some parsley and some basics like carrots, onion and tomatoes. I am into leek phase right now, so I got a couple of leeks. That's about it from the market this week. 
other things we picked up at the grocery store. Some of these items will last for a few weeks, maybe a month, because our pantry is kind of full right now. At the supermarket, we got some coconut cream for our curries. This is a coconut yogurt that tastes okay. It's kind of hard to find a good tasting coconut yogurt here on the island, especially with like a clean ingredient list. But this one, it's okay. We got two packages of noodles, pad thai noodles and some buckwheat soba noodles for Asian noodles that we're gonna make this week. Here we have a couple of tins of beans to have on hand and some dried lentils and beans to make from scratch. We have four blocks of tofu. We love tofu and this week it was on special so we got more than we usually get. Here we have some gluten-free rolled oats for our waffles and other yummy treats. As a great source of iodine, we got some seaweed like these snorri sheets and a salad mix as well. We have some matcha for a matcha latte with a coconut cream. We ran out of coconut oil, so we got some. Here is the one and only, the tahini paste, a must-have in my opinion. Other flavor makers we use are toasted sesame seed oil for salads and regular sesame seed oil for cooking. We got some balsamic vinegar as well. Next we have a box of dates to use throughout the months. Here is a truffle puree to add on pizza and stuff like that. We also have some buckwheat flour and regular flour for sourdough bread, some maple syrup for sweet treats. I know guys that Oatly is not the healthiest product out there, but got some for a coffee once a week, so we don't use it that often, just once a week. We got some fresh produce as well, like these shiitake mushrooms, they are amazing for gut health. Same story with the sweet potatoes. Remember my last video? I talked about the importance of the resistant starch for gut health and if you haven't watched this video, I highly recommend. We have some apples, pears, small bananas, a box of cherry tomatoes on the wine, some cilantro because they didn't have it on the market today. We got more avocados as well. And lastly, we got some raspberries and blueberries because they were on a special today, which is always a bonus. We also make a little bath with some apple cider vinegar especially for non-organic produce so that's kind of it don't miss out on the next video we're gonna be meal prepping and making delicious gut friendly things together 